we are here, finally open. <laughs> Very excited, actually. It's, it's, been a, it's been a long couple weeks of moving into the space and getting situated. Artwork still hanging, as you can see behind some, some of our touches finally going up and making it feel like home, finally. But it, it's, it's great. It's great to be in the space. It's great to be in a brand new kitchen. Yup. For the fans of the bread and board at Riverside, you can go in on their special menu at St. John's Town Center. Chef owner Dwayne talks about the enhancements at the new venue. Number one, parking. <laughs> lots, lots of parking. Um, we have a much larger dining room. Uh, the kitchen is actually twice the size of our Five Points location, which is allowing us to um, expand our catering operations quite a bit. We can do it all under one roof, essentially, um, have normal operations going on while we have um, uh, our catering and bakery at full force in the back as well. Um, we have in introduced, uh, it's our it's a third anniversary as well, so it's our third year um, birthday just this last month, and we were kind of thinking of, of how to further evolve the restaurant um, and the concept, and we had already done the sandwiches and the sandwich boards, but we, we thought things in threes, and, and decided we were going to, uh, after about a year of um, testing some recipes, add the, the addition of the sandwich bowls, which is the newest, newest program. I'm big into numbers, and Dwayne's explanation of the threes makes for some epic synchronicity. We had always wanted to expand, kind of take it off the bun or off the bread, if you will, um, which is where the board concept came from, um, that we, you could have everything that you love about a sandwich, all the, the good, we call it the goodness, all the goodness of the sandwich inside the bread, um, but, but uh, displayed and, and served differently. And so we created more of an entree version of the, the typical sandwich. So here we actually have the most popular sandwich on our menu, and it's our ham and, br ham and brie, which can be served either hot or cold. Cold being more traditional Frenchy. We, we think of that as more of your, you know, the baguette sandwich that you would get running around the streets of Paris. And then the sandwich as a board, which was our original concept, is, and this is served cold, but can be ordered hot, is the, the same applewood sliced ham, the brie, the jams, and the condiments over arugula salad with our, what we call Parker Rolls in-house. It's, it's an herbed rosemary roll. And then third, this is the newest program. Again, we've got 16 sandwiches at any given time on the menu in, in addition to special specials and entrees and what we call them crew specials. Um, but every single sandwich can now be enjoyed in this fashion, either on bread, on a board, or as the bowl which instead of doing a typical rice uh, bowl, what we've done is uh, we call it our power kale crunch. We shave um, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and finely shredded kale and carrots, and toss it in um, a, a very light uh, Italian style vinaigrette um, with Dijon and, and sherry vinegar. That's always the base on all of the, the salads, very lightly tossed. In addition to that, you can add, as I did in here, your dressings of choice when you, when you order. The B&B team is all about supporting locals. Their connection is even deeper with the addition of Provisions. Provisions is new to us and, and each, each of the two um, stores, Five Points and this location, are getting kind of a mini Provisions is what we call it. Uh, a sampling of what's to come at, at our downtown store that will be opening up in the fall where we'll have over 2,000 square feet dedicated to Provisions itself. But it's a way of highlighting our friends, um, especially in, in the local, <coughs> local food industries. Um, you can see kind of over my shoulder, we have Bee Friends Farm, which is a local bee producer. Ten, ten varieties or so of the different types of honey they offer, and, and they're expanding their line to be whipped butters with honey and caramels and, you know, um, amazingness. So in addition, in addition to the Bee Friends Farm um, items, we, we've got Congri and Penn, which is a local rice producer, and they do a lot of great things, cidery and, and stuff. We've got some of their products. Um, Satchawea Trading Company um, is a gentleman who is actually a um, middleman between local farms. We, we carry a lot of his produce, but he also has a specialty spice blend, many specialty spice blends. We're featuring a lot of those, so just a fun way, and those items will rotate in and out. Fun way of highlighting our friends and quality products from the region. And if you're feeling like you want some fresh additions for your own kitchen, the Bread and Board has you covered. We actually. Uh, at both locations as well, we have a, a cooler case that will highlight fresh products. So some of that produce uh, that Mike helps us bring in, um, our, our own um, expanding dessert line, we, we call it Layered, that's our new brand of specialty cakes and cookies. We feature a lot of those items, our specialty salad dressings, which we, we make in-house. 
10 or 12 salad dressings at any given time, and you can now get those are 12 16 ounce bottles that we will be bottle in each store. It's just, again, a fun way for us to, to highlight the products that we, we feature on the sandwiches and boards and bowls. Um, give people a, a chance, especially now, that it, maybe they're not getting out and being able to visit farms on their own and you do the you-pick thing. Um, they can still get the products. You know, we, we, can, still, we can still offer uh, some fun things for them to pick up in store while they're dining. I'll be doing a taste experience that you can see online on our Facebook page and RiverCityLiveTV.com. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live.